Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I thought I would share my outfit of the night with you guys. Tonight was my brother-in-law's birthday, so my husband and I got to go out with him to a wine bar here in Houston, and it was a very rare occasion because we, we very rarely do that at all anymore. Um, our children went with their grandparents and stayed there for a little while while we went out and had just basically an adult night, um, which is, you know, it's nice to do every now and then. Um, but like I said, it's a very rare occasion because we don't do it at all, really, ever. Um, anyhow, let me show you guys what I have on and then I'll come back and tell you about my makeup and my shoes. And I got a lot of compliments on my shoes, which is a little crazy because they're like the cheapest pair that I own. Um, but I'll share that with you guys in a, in a second. Okay, so of course I've got my Baldi uh, YSL clutch, and then my heels are these Prabble, is it Prabble? I don't say it right. Prabble Gurung or Gurung from um, Target. It was the private collection earlier this year. They look like this. They're just very cagey, kind of strappy, um, patent, and kind of leather at the same time. Really pretty, and like I said, I got a lot of compliments on them. Just a very simple but very pretty shoe or sandal, summer sandal at the same time. So those and they are, there's the Prabble Gurong for Target. Um, and then my shorts, let me take the other one off so that I'm even. <laughs> my shorts are from Express and they're really pretty. They have this kind of um, black band around the top, which is really pretty, but they're a little dressy kind of crepe material, if you will. Um, but like a sand color and then my shirt is also from Express. It's like a peplum. It's got a little bit of a pattern. Um, it's not, I don't know, I'm not sure what kind of pattern it is exactly, but it's got a little bit of a pattern to it. It has this beautiful neckline and I have to tell you that when I bought this shirt, um, I liked it and I thought, oh, I can do a lot with that. You know, I can, I can wear it a lot of different ways with a lot of different things and of course, you know, shorts automatically always come to my mind when it comes to any any shirt that I buy because I just wear shorts so much that is like one of my biggest um, must-haves is just shorts in general and um, one of the biggest things was when I was checking out I was like making sure that each one of these was sewn on and that there wasn't one missing and that nothing was loose and the crazy thing is is I made sure so there was nothing you know everything's there and everything was on tightly well now that I look at it there is one right here missing from right here. You can see how this has three, and this one has like one, and it's missing one, and there's another one. So isn't that crazy? Like I really, I made sure they were on there, and they were on there, and it fell off. Crazy. Anyhow, so a little upset over that. Um, and then I had on more bracelets, but my daughter took them with her when she left us to go with her grandparents. Um, but just these three, and my watch, and then just my normal earrings and on my face I have on um, I've got on the Smashbox foundation the uh, studio skin 15 hour foundation I absolutely love it I've got benefits um, what is the bronzer I can't think I want to call it Laguna but it's not Laguna the bronzer that benefit makes I'll put it down below I'm not exactly sure but I just have it on I don't have it on as a bronzer I have it on as a um, contour color so right along here and then down my nose and then up here across my forehead um, that I contoured Hula Benefit Hula that's what it's called Benefit Hula and I just like I said ran it that way I don't really ever use bronzer as bronzer because I like um, for my skin to look the same color as the rest of me um, but I do use it as contour on my cheeks I have Max gentle blush which I absolutely love it is a really pretty color I think I'm gonna love it even more in the fall because it's such a rich beautiful color and it's got a lot of um, like highlight to it natural highlight it's a mineral blush but it's just beautiful so I've got that here kind of on the apples and then I've got Mac light scapade which was given to me by the brunette beauty blogger 
absolutely beautiful. It is my absolute favorite highlight. I love that sucker so much. Um, but Teresa sent it to me over a year ago, and I still to this day absolutely love it. And I love using it because it just makes me, it makes me think of her every time I put it on. But I've got that on my highlight and then right here my Cupid's bow down the center of my nose and then up here above my arches, uh, my arches, my brows. And then I also have on, um, what is it? I can't think right now. The Ben Nye Cameo Setting Powder, which is a kind of very light colored powder. You will know the banana powder as the Kim Kardashian color that... Um, her makeup artist uses to set her concealer with. I use the cameo shade of that, which is just a very pale, paler version of that, very, very um, paled down. But I use that under my conceal or under my under eyes to set my concealer and then all over as a setting powder. My under eyes, I've got Max Pro Long Wear Concealer on. I love that. It's absolutely gorgeous. I did that after I did my eyeshadow, so it's got a very different, kind of unique look to it when you do it after your eyeshadow as opposed to before it. And then on my lids, which I know you're gonna have a hard time even seeing because I've got the worst webcam ever. Um, but on my lids, I've got Matte Constructivist all over. In the center, I have uh, Maybelline's 24 Hour The Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze, so it's just a little bit of a gold hint. And then on top of that, I did the um, Matte Havana in the outer corner and then in the center and in Matt, uh, Bobbi Brown's, no, it's Laura Mercier, Mercier, it's a, Black Chocolate, I think it's called Black Chocolate. Um, I'll put it down below too, I'm sorry, I can't remember half these names. And then I did up here, uh, MAC Mylar, and then in the inner corner too. It's a bunch of colors that I kind of mixed together to get this kind of unique, kind of like eye look. Um, and then just some black eyeliner, so it's Maybelline's black eyeliner. On my lips, I have on an e.l.f., which is Eyes, Lips, Face, Nude Pencil, or Nude, Matte Nude, something. Sorry, no. It's a matte nude lipstick. Here it is. It's called Matte Lip Color by Eyes Lips Face or e.l.f. And mine came funky. Like, it literally came, you see the tip? Like, it's falling out. I literally, I opened it and the whole color stick fell out. Um, but it's just a really pretty, very neutral, or just nude lip color. I love it. So I've got that on. And then on top of it, I have the Eyes Lips Face Lip Balm in pink. Wow, yeah, sorry. Uh, in pink, which looks like this. And it's just a real pretty little lip balm that goes on top. But it gives it a really pretty color. So that is it. Um, I'm done with my makeup. Sorry, that took forever. Anyhow, hope you guys are having a wonderful night so far. And I will talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. And I'm sorry for photo bombing you on Instagram. I think I Instagram like, I don't know, six pictures tonight. Um, but I get excited when my husband and I get to hang out by ourselves. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.